Oh, why would you listen to me? I'm just your friend. I don't have friends. No. So this, you stay here if you want, on your own. Wonder why. Alone is what I have. Alone protects me. This is what I said before, John. I meant it. I don't have friends. I've just got one. No. Nope. Friends protect people. I am the most unpleasant, rude, ignorant, and all-round obnoxious arsehole that anyone could possibly have the misfortune to meet. I am dismissive of the virtuous, unaware of the beautiful, and uncomprehending in the face of the happy. How dare you throw away the beautiful gifts you were born with? And how dare you betray the love of your friends? Say you're sorry. So if I didn't understand I was being asked to be best man, it is because I never expected to be anybody's best friend. Of course, certainly not the best friend. You're my best friend. Or the bravest and kindest and wisest human being I have ever had the good fortune of knowing. One word, Sherlock, that is all I would have needed. One word to let me know that you were alive. John, I am a ridiculous man redeemed only by the warmth and constancy of your friendship. You told me once <clears throat> that you weren't a hero. Um, there were times I didn't even think you were human, but let me tell you this, you were the best man, uh, the most human, human being that I've ever known, and no one will ever convince me that you told me a lie. And so, you were the best and the wisest man that I have ever known. Then yes, of course, I forgive you. No. I was so alone. This phone call. Is so and I owe you so much. It's my note. It's what people do, don't they? Okay. Leave a note. Leave a note when? Goodbye, John. But please, there's just one more thing, one more thing, one more miracle, Sherlock, for me. Don't be dead. Mary, when I say you deserve this man, it is the highest compliment of which I am capable. The problems of your past. John, you have endured war and injury. Are your business. And tragic loss. The problems of your future. My privilege. It's all I have to say. It's all I need to know. So know this. Today you sit between the woman you have made your wife and the man you have saved. In short, the two people who love you most in all this world. And I know I speak for Mary as well when I say we will never let you down. We have a lifetime ahead. Why do you need to die? I couldn't help me. but I what? Please, John, forgive me. Haunted by the war, Dr. Watson. But I can never find the way. Miss it. Please, John, forgive me. For all that I've done, I cost you. As your friend, as someone who worries about the end, you're very bad. What made you like this? The walk with Sherlock Holmes and see the battle of Watson. You see me from there. Nothing made me. Also, your loss would break my heart. But look how you care about John Watson. Shut up! You're dancing in distress. I just don't just keep keep shh. And stay shut up. Because this is not too funny. Not this time. I didn't say it was funny. You. What have I ever done? Hmm? My whole life. To deserve you. Why is everything always my fault? Neighbors. John Watson. My friend, John Watson. <laughs>